Can we make free energy with magnets and electricity? Let's find out. Here we are, it's been a few days and I have built the beginnings of one of these internet free energy devices. Check it out. We have our permanent magnet generator or motor mounted on this traditional wood as seen in many of the other free energy videos online here. You can see it still works. When we put mechanical input in, we get electrical input out that can be converted back into mechanical energy. But when the mechanical input stops, so does the electrical input. This is a permanent magnet motor, so it can be a generator or motor. It can be spun forward or reverse to change the polarity. First, let's talk about this generator that's going to be our motor, because we're going to use a motor as a generator that's got permanent magnets in it. We're going to use a Mo generator as a motor that's got not permanent magnets in it. This is a Volkswagen generator to make 12 volt DC power in a Volkswagen Beetle. We're going to run it with this 12 volt power supply. That okay, so there's something I want you guys to see. So when I add 12, I've got the case grounded here. If I add 12 volts there, the motor starts turning over a little bit. It's not very fast and I can stop it pretty easy. Okay. But if I add 12 volts and then start bumping the fields to charge them up like a magnet, this motor will run at about 10 amps. Okay, so here's our setup. Um, pulleys and things like this are huge friction sinks. So eliminating any kind of um, additive friction in a over unity system, if that's what we're shooting for, is gonna be a big problem. So as close to direct drive as I can get is what we got here. We've got the amp gauge to monitor the power that's going to the little drive generator slash motor. And then we'll have a voltmeter on the motor slash generator. And the grounds are hooked together and this will read whatever voltage we're generating here while we're running this. And then theoretically, if I switch the voltage from this source to that source, the thing keeps running, right? All right, so I got the motor and the generator wired together and the charger will run the system. And then I can use this wire to excite the generator and we'll uh, read what volts we get off it and see what happens. <laughs> nothing so here's the problem with a motor generator generator motor running itself okay i can put energy into this but it has no capacity to store it there is friction here 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 and here so at a hundred percent efficiency everything working perfectly it might be possible to get these two to run at the same time but they wouldn't generate any power not possible at you get these suckers running at a higher rpms whatever you can change the ratios if you add anything if you add pulleys or anything into in between these two these eat power they eat energy so you're just killing your system efficiency so that generator will put out 14 volts and 12 volts is enough to spin that motor as we saw from this so and it should have been spinning that generator way faster plenty fast enough to spin it um i have the least amount of friction possible there and it still couldn't keep itself running much less run anything else so back to the first problem with a free energy system is it's like trying to hide dirt that you dug out of a hole by digging a hole it's nothing you can't get nothing from nothing and there's no energy in magnets as i've discussed before magnets are just springs so if I'm doing this wrong, and I know there's a lot of free energy experts and over unity experts out here on the internet. If I'm doing this wrong, tell me about it. Let me know. But as far as I can see, this goose don't fly. 